Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a public Unreal Tournament server. First of all, you need to download and install the latest patch for Unreal Tournament. You can download it on this web page. I have a link for it in the doobly-doo. Alright, now when you have that in place, we can begin the tutorial. First, we need to find your IP address. Write CMD in your Windows search bar and then write ipconfig. Note, your IPv4 address, that is your private IP address. We're going to need that later. Now open my browser and log in to your router. I found the address, username and password of my router on the bottom of it. Maybe you can do the same. If not, then try and Google it. When you access your router, go to Advanced and then Advanced Setup. Then go to Port Forwarding and press Add Custom Service. Give it a service name like Public UT99 Server. Set the protocol to TCP. In external and internal port range, write 7777 to 7778. In internal IP address, write your private IP address or choose it from the list. Now click Apply. The next step is only necessary if you plan to host your server more than once. Without a static IP, players can't use the Add to Favorites function since your server will have a new IP every time you restart your computer. So let's add a static IP. You're already in the Advanced tab, so go to Setup and choose LAN Setup. Go to Address Reservation and press Add. Select your private IP from the table and press Add. Now you have a static IP. As you can see, my internet provider has their own router at my place and my router is connected to it, so I am thereby under their security settings. Since I don't have the option to change the settings on their router through their website, I have to make them a call and ask them to set the router as a bridge. This means their router is now disabled and that my own router controls all the internet security. Now open your Unreal Tournament and select Multiplayer. Select Start Network Game, set up your match, rules, settings and bots. Then go to Server. Give it a server name. Fill out the forms you want. But make sure to tick Advertise Server. When you are satisfied with all the settings, select Dedicated to launch your server. The game will minimize and an icon will appear in the down right corner. When hosting a server, your firewall will pop up and tell you that it has blocked Unreal Tournament. Just press Allow Access. Launch a new game. Go to Find Internet Games, choose the UT Server tab and search for your server name. Your server is now public. When setting up your server and installing mods, you are going to close and then run your game a lot of times to check if your adjustments work. Therefore, I recommend you to open your Unreal Tournament ini file and change the local map city intro into local map DM closer. This will make your game start up much faster. If you are serious about making a server, I would recommend you to install a clean version of the game first with a short installation path and use that for a server, since some mods don't work with long paths or long file names. Most of the mods you're going to need to your server is found on unrealarchive.com. When you are ready, you might consider renting a server to host your game. The server provider has the base game, so you only need to install your mods and maybe do some changes in the Unreal Tournament ini file. According to this website, Pink Perfect should be a good place for hosting Unreal Tournament. So, Let's take a look at the prices there. A normal performance server with branding hosted on a SSD with access for 10 players and normal priority costs a little more than 6 US dollars or almost 5.5 euro or 5.5 pounds.
pound each month. With the possibility of 25 players, it costs a little more than a 16 US dollars or almost 14 and a half euro or 12 pounds each month. And you will get a discount for a longer rental period. 5% discount for a quarterly, 10% discount for a half a year, and 15% discount for an annual payment. Be aware that game slots mean total number of players. So if you pay for 10 players and host two Unreal Tournament games on your server, then only a maximum of 10 players can be logged on divided on both of your games. Now when you know the price of a server, think of those who also pay for a website each month. It is no wonder why some ask for a small donation. So if you play on a server often, please consider donating a little. Maybe just enough for a cup of coffee or something similar. After all, we have spent a lot of hours and a lot of money to set up the servers and we get all the fun. By the way, if you need more information, tips and tricks on having a server, then you can find it in the server guide from old Unreal. I have the link in the doobly-doo. Now, have fun!